Hello everyone, my name is Brenda Holland. I am an artist and a candle maker from Akron, Ohio. And I am currently having a show at Kent Stark State. For all my friends who live out of state, they requested that I take them through my show because they couldn't be here. So welcome, and I'm going to show you a little bit about what I do. I am a collage artist primarily and one of my favorite things to do are 3D collages. This is my first piece I'm going to show you which starts out on panels and then I drew it out from there and my favorite tool is an X-Acto knife and each piece that you see on here has been cut out from a book or a magazine and I place them all together and what I think is a really cool pattern and I also like to put little hidden treasures in there and old artist slides which in the old days that's how you had to do it. You can just take a picture of your art and send it to somebody. You had to actually make a slide and send it in. So I have a few of those tucked in the nook and crannies. This is the piece that started it all. I went back to Akron University in 2012 after spending 30 years in the legal field over it and decided to explore the other side of my brain so I enrolled full-time for art. My kids thought I was nuts but it just had to be done. I just wasn't having any fun anymore. I was in a drawing class in my freshman year and my professor came in and said we're going to do something different today. I'm going to show you this really cool way that I collage and it's called a reverse glass collage, where you actually sand the plexiglass and you glue the images directly to the glass. Then you roll it with a rolling pin for about a half an hour, and then you walk on it, and it gives it a really nice, flat, three-dimensional image. So that was the first piece that I did in school, and that was it. I was hooked. It just was extremely satisfying for me to be able to take random pieces and put them together in a way that when you were finished, you found the beauty in the chaos. This is another reverse glass collage entitled Alien, which I just think is really cool and cosmic. And when I was finished, I decided to add a few extra touches and I took glass paint and painted some spikes on the outside of it. And you'll see later where that inspiration came from. When you're an artist, you just love playing and trying different things. And I honestly don't remember what gave me the inspiration for this piece, but I thought, hmm, I wonder what it would look like if you peeled back some of the canvas and bam, ended up with this piece. This is another 3D piece that I started with a wooden grid and it just has a nice variety of old and new and many classic pieces are in here. So where do you look and hopefully you can find some of your favorites. So this was the first piece that got me into a gallery. I worked on it for four months, literally every day. Everything you see in this piece is cut out lines. And my goal was to have everything connect. So no matter where you start, your eye can just keep going. And for my friends that I met at Akron U, I put a couple little hidden treasures in there on a Batman and a Superman and where's Waldo? I never imagined in a million years that my artwork would extend to candle making, 
but my lovely daughter started a business from California making all natural organic vegan candles. She's on a mission to save the earth and I popped on board and now my artwork has extended to my canvas being candle wax. Who knew? And I think the stuff comes out pretty cool. My customers love it. Skulls are huge and you can get either a beautiful skull with flowers and crystals and herbs or you can go all out creepy and I have scorpions and spiders from France and thorns and knock yourself out they're really awesome and I also paint bottles which these are huge for customers they like them on their hearth by their fireplace and I collage 3D objects. Again, the skulls are also very popular, but if you have something particular that you want done, just hit me up. I love doing custom work. It's my favorite thing to do. For the stamp collectors, I bought a collection of old stamps in an estate sale and I put them together in a reverse glass collage. The earliest stamp I found was from 1942, and I just thought it came out really nice and just has so much history to this piece. This body of work was inspired by a class that I had at Akron U. We were to create a multi-dimensional picture on the computer. And this was the basis of the work that I did. But once that I finished doing it, I found myself just feeling, I don't know, I needed more. And so, as an experiment, I decided to try the layering of the same objects onto canvas. And it's very... This is probably the only work that I would actually encourage someone with clean hands to touch. Because I layer and layer with just tons of different types of paint and thickness, and it just comes out so hands-on and interactive and that's how I want the art to be. I want the person who owns it to be able to feel it and hopefully become part of it and have it mean something more to them than, oh, that's a great picture on the wall. These two pieces are just sexy. I don't know what else to say about them. We have iconic women in this picture from Marilyn Monroe to Elizabeth Taylor, uh, Madonna. And I just love the way it all came together. It's just a really classy piece, I think. And this one I did in a shadow box and it was another one of those things that I saw that I thought was beautiful, but it just needed more. And I saw a magazine ad and this woman was in it and she was wearing a blue dress and it just caught me that it just something about it was screaming make it more so I brought her dress out and I made it red and then I added some roses in her hair and then of course you have to top it up with a black feather and I just think this is a really cool piece it's one of my favorites these two pieces you can find on YouTube. I did this piece in class when I was at Akron U, and my art mentor, professor, said one day, hmm, I wonder how that would look if you moved down and around through it. And so I hooked up with a friend of mine I met at school, and he did the video work and I met with another friend of mine who did original music and we put it on YouTube and it's pretty cool I think. You can check it out if you have a barcode reader in your, on your phone you'll be able to zoom in and it should take you right there. 
So this piece wasn't intentionally made for that purpose, but this piece was. Please take the time to view it. I hope you enjoy it. I thought it came out pretty cool. I want to thank everyone for walking along with me. This show was inspired by my son, who unfortunately passed away on July 3rd from a heroin overdose that was laced with fentanyl. And my way of coping with his addiction was through art and picking up pieces and putting them together, the chaos to create something beautiful. And in his work, he did the same thing. He not only was an amazing person, he was an amazing artist. And he was able to recreate. No matter where he was in his recovery, he was able to hold on to that, to have something to keep him grounded and find beauty. And this piece he worked on for four years, and it was done with all fine tip sharpies. And the only thing left to finish was the white negative space. And when he was done with this piece, we were going to do a piece together, which now that won't happen. But, you know, one day I can imagine there's probably some really kick-ass art making supplies in heaven. So if you're a lot younger than me and one day you look up the sky and you see crazy colors that just can't be possible you'll be like yeah that's brenda and brandon up there making something beautiful so thank you very much for coming along on my journey and i hope you enjoyed the show